Sentinel-2 is an Earth observation mission from the EU Copernicus program that systematically acquires optical imagery at high spatial resolution 10 meters to 60 meters over land and coastal waters. The mission is a constellation with two twin satellites Sentinel-2A and Sentinel-2B. The mission supports a broad range of services and applications such as agricultural monitoring, emergencies management, land cover classification or water quality. Sentinel-2 has been developed and is being operated by ESA, and the satellites were manufactured by a consortium led by Airbus DS. Overview. The Sentinel-2 mission has the following key characteristics Multi-spectral data with 13 bands in the visible, near-infrared, and short-wave infrared part of the spectrum Systematic global coverage of land surfaces from 56 degrees south to 84 degrees north, coastal waters, and all of the Mediterranean Sea Revisiting every five days under the same viewing angles at high latitudes, Sentinel-2 swath overlap and some regions will be observed twice or more every five days, but with different viewing angles. Spatial resolution of 10 m, 20 m and 60 m 290 km field of view Free and open data policy to achieve frequent revisits and high mission availability. Two identical Sentinel 2 satellites Sentinel 2A and Sentinel 2B operate together. The planned orbit is sun synchronous at 786 km miles altitude, 14.3 revolutions per day, with a 10:30 a.m. descending node. This local time was selected as a compromise between minimizing cloud cover and ensuring suitable sun illumination. It is close to the Landsat local time and matches spots, allowing the combination of Sentinel-2 data with historical images to build long-term time series. Launches <laughs> <laughs> The launch of the first satellite, Sentinel-2A, occurred 23 June 2015 at 1.52 Time on a Vega launch vehicle, Sentinel-2B was launched on 7 March 2017 at 1.49 Time, also aboard a Vega rocket. Instruments <inaudible> <inaudible> The Sentinel-2 satellites will each carry a single multi-spectral instrument MSI with 13 spectral channels in the visible, near-infrared and short-wave infrared spectral range Designed and built by Airbus Defence and Space in France, this MSI imager uses a push broom concept and its design has been driven by the large 290 km (180 miles) swath requirements, together with the high geometrical and spectral performance required of the measurements. It has a 150 mm in aperture and a three-mirror anastigmat design with a focal length of about 600 mm in. .The instantaneous field of view is about 21 degrees by 3.5 degrees. The mirrors are rectangular and made of silicon carbide, a similar technology to those on the Gaia mission. The system also employs a shutter mechanism preventing direct illumination of the instrument by the sun. This mechanism is also used in the calibration of the instrument. Due to the layout of the focal plane, spectral bands within the MSI instrument observe the surface at different times and vary between band pairs. Topic applications Sentinel-2 will serve a wide range of applications related to Earth's land and coastal water. The mission will provide information for agricultural and forestry practices and for helping manage food security. Satellite images will be used to determine various plant indices such as leaf area chlorophyll and water content indexes. 
This is particularly important for effective yield prediction and applications related to Earth's vegetation. As well as monitoring plant growth, Sentinel-2 can be used to map changes in land cover and to monitor the world's forests. It will also provide information on pollution in lakes and coastal waters. Images of floods, volcanic eruptions and landslides contribute to disaster mapping and help humanitarian relief efforts. Examples for applications include, monitoring land cover change for environmental monitoring agricultural applications, such as crop monitoring and management to help food security detailed vegetation and forest monitoring and parameter generation e.g. leaf area index, chlorophyll concentration, carbon mass estimations observation of coastal zones marine environmental monitoring, coastal zone mapping inland water monitoring glacier monitoring ice extent mapping, snow cover monitoring flood mapping and management risk analysis, loss assessment, disaster management during floods the Sentinel Monitoring web application offers an easy way to observe and analyze land changes based on archived Sentinel-2 data. Products <laughs> 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 The following two main products are generated by the mission. Level 1C, top of atmosphere reflectances in cartographic geometry, combined UTM projection and WGS84 ellipsoid. Level 1C products are tiles of 100 square kilometers each one with a volume of approximately 500 megabytes. These products are radiometrically and geometrically corrected including orthorectification. This product can be obtained from the Copernicus Open Access Hub. Level 2A – Surface Reflectances in Cartographic Geometry. This product is considered as the Mission Analysis Ready Data the product that can be used directly in downstream applications without the need for further processing. This product can be obtained either from the Copernicus Open Access Hub or generated by the user with the SEN2 core processor from ESA's SNAP toolbox. Additionally, the following product for expert users is also available. Level 1B Top of atmosphere radiances in sensor geometry. Level 1B is composed of granules. One granule represents the sub-image one of the 12 detectors in the across track direction, 25 kilometers, and contains a given number of lines along track, approximately 23 kilometers. Each level 1B granule has a data volume of approximately 27 megabytes. Given the complexity of level 1B products, their usage require an advanced expertise. Topic Gallery Examples of images taken. <laughs>